What's up dude, so today we're going to check out how you can dial in some awesome clean tones on your HX Stomp, your Helix and also how you can kind of use different guitars and balance the outputs of them and kind of make it work with the same patches. So let's dive straight into it. But before you do that, please go ahead and press that little subscribe button down there. And also press the little bell icon. I do HX some videos and other guitar related videos every other day, and you will be notified about them and will be the first to be able to see them. So what's not to like about that, guys? Let's jump straight into it. Okay guys, so as the amp, I've got a Huat 100 going on right here and that is based on a high watt style amplifier it's a really nice amp for clean tones i'm using a greenback 25 cabinet and of course we have got all the other stock settings and let's check out how it sounds going to use this gibson es335 at the moment and i have a sir tom bucker in the bridge and then i have the marzio dp103 paf30 sixth anniversary in the neck so let's check it out dudes let's start with the bridge pickup <laughs> okay so let's start by dialing in that input impedance to 30k and if you're wondering what i'm using I pretty much always like one Mac for humbuckers and 230 for the single coils, but if I'm using my own humbuckers, I like really bright sounding humbuckers, so that's why 230K works both for humbuckers and for single coils for me. So let's check it out, dudes. 230K on the humbuckers right now. And what I'm going to do is I am going to change the mic on the cabinet. And I like a little warmer of a mic when I'm using clean tones. Going to use a little bit of low cut, a little bit of high cut, and then we get this. Sounds pretty good on the bridge pickup, but let's check out what we've got going on on the middle and the neck. Really woolly sounding on the neck. So I want the warmth to stay there, but I don't want to, um, to kind of get rid of all the nice details. I'm also going to back the input drive off a little bit, so let's check out 3.5 on the input drive. Check out one mag just to see if it brings out a little bit more sparkle in the neck. just a little bit more bass so go to about three that's about perfect for me so now we have got a really nice spot for what this humbucker guitar is capable of and i'm going to simulate going to another guitar by using uh, the coil split functions on here so let's check out the neck and then the coil splitted neck
can hear straight away it kind of sounds a little bit anemic because yeah it's dropped a lot and with clean tones you really want to kind of be on that edge of breakup you really want enough of that signal to not let it be anemic so what we would have to need to do is push up that drive probably and maybe add a little bit of bass and adjust the uh, yeah the input impedance and how we're going to do that is by assigning it to a control so that we can easily switch between them so that you can actually just by pressing a switch go to um, from the humbucker style settings to the single call style settings so we choose drive then we assign it to the foot switch number one we go from a minimum of drive which was at about 3.6 to let's say about 5 and let's check out where that 5 brings us by the way let's also do the same with the input impedance so we want the input impedance here then we're going to put it on foot switch one the minimum will have to max that 3.5 so it will be the 230k and the maximum will be that one mag so let's check it out dudes so this is sometimes you have to put it on and off the button to get it to work so um, we have the drive on 5 and we have the 1 mag, which is uh, the opposite way that we want it. So let's switch these around and let's check out what that does. So we have it on 5 and we have the 230k for the single coil. So this is... This is with the amp on the settings for the humbucker and also the input impedance. And now I'm splitting it and I'm leaving the settings, not pressing that foot switch. It's a little anemic, so let's press that foot switch and see where we go. sounds way better in my opinion so let's try that also on the bridge you can really see that you can get a nice kind of balance between the two so full humbucker on the humbucker settings and then the split on the humbucker setting first sounds anemic so let's press the button You can even get a little bit more drive there on the um, on the single coil. Let's try six or so. So we really found kind of a sweet spot there and again if you found that a little bit too much drive then you just back it off for the uh, split or single coil stuff and there you have a really nice way to kind of go between them. So again I will um, try to show you actually how it looks when, uh, when we're doing that. What I have going on here is that if I have it not pressed I basically have the humbucker setting so you can see the drive is on 3.5 as well as when I go to the input you can see that it goes to 
one meg and when I press it, it goes to 230k and it goes to the drive at about 5.5. So that's all that's doing and what you can also do is just add a lot more parameters like bass and treble and stuff if you really want to kind of do it for both guitars really nicely. So that's a really nice way in my opinion to do that. And also another way you might want to do it is with a compressor but that's something I'm going to check out in another video guys. So please if you haven't go ahead and press that little subscribe button down there also press the little bell icon. If you press a bell icon you will get notified every time I do an awesome video like this one and you will get a lot of HX Stump videos a lot of tips, tricks on there, a lot of free presets. You will get a few gear demos and a few other type of guitar related stuff. So what is not to like guys? And then I will catch you for the next video.